It's Joey's. Well, there is some Joey shit down shit. here. We gotta move fast. Joey! This oh, fucking place. no wonder I oh. couldn't see. My fucking gun wasn't up. This is a bad idea. How deep is that damn hole? Why am I doing this? I should this I should just go away this now. Is fucking rock. You think these things got through it? No. I'm I'm stopping there. <laughs> Unless I need to. Uh, it looks like I might need to. Hold on. Let me let me just oh, check man. over here first. <laughs> let me go this way first. Not much Finding fucking sure. blood everywhere. Ah uh, shit. I think I have to. Something really fucking nasty went down. You are, or, uh... Me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, God. All right. I have to. I don't wanna... <laughs> Stop fucking around. Hurry up. Oh, but I found a premonition oh, tablet. <laughs> I have to look. That was useless. Oh man. Notes. Uh, October 23rd, 1946. Catacombs beneath the Templar head heaped with unintelligible. Uh, Aline has worked sacrificial digs in El Castillo, but she hasn't e seen blank. Blank killed thousands in the name of their gods. Blank in carnal pits, as though the slaughter. Blank, what plague or cataclysm demanded such price? So much blank. Whatever happened here millennia ago <laughs> is blank. All right. Oh, this one. Okay. Seventh <laughs> of December, nineteen forty-six. Our finds have been so spectacular. I couldn't resist breaking out the champagne as I entered the survey tent to pour a glass for Mary. I realized something was awry. She'd found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full head of steam, sounding off about the risks of using explosives at a dig site. She was right, of course, and I feel terrible for hiding it from her. Why did you hide it from her? Whatever. Sleep. Just then, Crow Sleep. arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below. We found Pazuzu's. We have to blow the place up. <laughs> may not be alone. Yes. But, or I could just fight it with a crowbar. Get a hunk of steel. That works too. Joe, are you? That's, they shouldn't be using guns. They should just be using... Steel. <laughs> Slow it down. Somewhere right here. This will make sense in post. Yeah. I think I might have the option to uh, <laughs> shoot you. <laughs> Who the fuck are these guys? Oh. Ah! Yo, we. Shit. Glad I took that cautious. It's fucking dark. Piece of shit. <laughs> oh, he's throwing grenades. Grenades! Fucking asshole. Oh man. Nick and Jason are separate now. Fucking aura. This is mailman three to mailman two, one actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. This is Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, 1, actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. Oh, spooky. Spooky dooky caves. Man, being under underground sucks. Yeah, it does. Oh, man, uh, it's just me and the Pazuzus now. Chittering away down here. Right, A95 uh, uh, R19 A9 Hmm for the sun huh Oh Excuse me Oh 
Okay. I'm I don't think I'm Nick anymore. I hit a loading screen. No, no, I'm still Nick. We're having a lot of random shit. Over there, there is a demon. <laughs> it's a fucking Pazuzu. American. You're not very good at being very quiet. Like bats. They hear you. They hunt you. Seen their weakness. They burn in sunlight. Well, that's good like enough. This is good. Being, being, they can be killed. It also stabs them. Let's take through the heart. They're vampires. They're fucking vampires. <laughs> The Pazuzus are vampires. <laughs> yeah. Even a truck falling on so, just makes them angry. We do this together. Okay. I have had zero decisions so far, by the way. <laughs> okay. Psst. Fuck's the blood. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, there was no plan. <laughs> no, I've gone, I've gone, I've gone into fucking feral stealth murder mode. I'm just gonna go do it. <laughs> um, yeah, the entire time you were reading documents, I was in a big ass action set piece. Oh, like, you were fighting the, them, fighting the shit out of a demon. <laughs> Tight. Oh fuck! Don't don't fuck up your prompts now. This isn't now. the first time that's happened in this. We keep getting separated, be like someone's just chilling and while and like reading the documents while I'm like, uh <laughs> shit's hap shit's going crazy over here. Oh man. Now I'm gonna have to do stealth prompts. <clears throat> oh Are you getting any stealth prompts here? Uh, I'm having like, don't fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> okay. your movement. I think. Well, I think it's my turn now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I can see like it fucking slow down time. Yeah, like, I was like, oh, you got a QTE there. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, drive it in. Yeah, get it in there. Yeah, bonding. We did it. This will we, end the war. We've killed the monster together. These, <laughs> these two grunts who don't matter in the <laughs> grand scheme of things. Towards the end of the war, their friendship. I've seen ugly in my life, but never that ugly. And the hostilities. What the fuck are we up against? Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. What do you think those things are? You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. They're but... Pazuzus. Didn't you see The Exorcist? <laughs> or I should say it's terrible sequel. I shouldn't be here. Yeah. I should be home. I wasn't even family. supposed to be here today. <laughs> I hear you. 
Family's everything. I should have never come here. Yeah, no, fuck this place. <laughs> it's his birthday today. Oh, man. You really shouldn't be here. How? Old enough to think he's a man. And he's only still a boy. He just turned 18. Whoa. <laughs> Big day. Big day. Let me tell you. Best present you can give him is to make sure you get home today. It's the only thing keeping me going. Well, if we're in hell, I guess you should at least know my name. <laughs> Tolerant. <laughs> Salim Osman, Lieutenant. Hierarchy on me. And it's a bit awkward, but uh, yeah. I, I, I technically thought I was out of the RB today oh, until Dar dragged me into this <laughs> ambush. Hey, solid copy, LT. I see your light. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. I'm coming to get you. Your friends, but they're not doing anything dumb. Oh, don't worry. Jason's always dumb. <laughs> uh. You gotta trust me. They won't hurt you. If you're chill and near me, it'll be fine. <laughs> if you're skulking in the rocks, he's probably gonna shoot at you. <laughs> Stop pointing your guns at me! All right, everyone, take a fucking second. He's not hostile. I don't want to hurt you. Your uniform tells me something different. Drop your fucking weapon, do it now! No, you lower yours first. Drop your weapon before I fucking drop you! You pull that trigger and I swear to Alibaba in the 40 Thieves, it's the last fucking thing you'll do! <laughs> I'm this God far damn it. die by a trigger, happy American! Okay, enough. There's no point in fighting. Not anymore. I ought to put one through your fucking skull. It won't change anything. I'd still be in this hell. Don't tempt me. We're heading back to the temple. Tie him up. If he tries anything, put him down. After all we've been through? Thanks a lot. Hey, you two boys do this together? Of course we did. We fought it together and we won. Jason, we need to talk about this guy. Not now. This plan's just want to go home. <laughs> Whatever the hell happened to Joey, he's gone. And there are fuck knows how many of those things out there. I say we pull back to the temple and regroup. I think that's the best plan I heard all day. Yeah, maybe we can untie Salim over there. <laughs> Ugh. He, he really doesn't need to be tied up. Oh, shit. Oh, it's just gonna be you by yourself, man. <laughs> Eric's dead. Why in the hole? Uh, I have... I have... Descended into actual hell now. Oh man, have fun down That's there. The last one. Should at least slow them down. I'm uh, I'm back yeah, with man, I'm in Blake Town. Oh, awesome! <laughs> You're in Pazuzuville down there. We're or, uh, collapsing tunnels uh, what was up it here. Called? The, the Demon Souls Blight Town. Oh, fun! Please, please leave one. <laughs> I think that's probably might need one. We should reset that tripwire. Give me a hand. Oh, we uh, reset the tripwire, by the you way. So when you come running up here from a Pazuzu, uh, be I sure not to trip on the grenade. <laughs> I gotta fight these things. 
No one else I would want by my bitch. Oh yeah, where's Dar? <laughs> I haven't seen that fucker. I don't know. I, I shot him as Nick, but he's not dead. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Oh, I always got your back, he buddy. deserves it. Come Even though I had a sentimental moment looking at his wallet. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck that guy. He's a crazy asshole. Yeah. Dar's a psycho, man. In Sans Frontiers, Cart Dare uh no. Vene Marie Marie uh female nineteen seventy nine. How many places like Aids Without Borders, Director of Operations. These relics are better off right. dust. What's your problem? Um these people didn't ask for this war. Something's let's not go toward the floppy thing in the in the water I never have a good answer for that if I get asked still all these floppy point. things in the water I'm pretty sure I should just avoid them Let's go. It's as fun as it would be to the demons will kill me you have to untie me uh -huh. secret is found tore right through this oh, helmet find all kinds of stuff but is here to protect you oh yeah man I'm, I'm deep in the gore pits don't worry we got this place locked down tight <laughs> uh, this year's as safe as it's oh. gonna get. I'll feel a lot safer. Oh, what's this? In my what's hand. this? Oh, I, I have some shit to read. All right. <clears throat> a lot of it's unintelligible. 13th of December. Brett and I descended in the brick. As we left, I was struck by the temperament she seemed eager almost manic in the face of our new discovery when we reached the bottom crow could not prevent himself before us set in a dizzying vault lay a bit loathsome colossal and sleeping a great carcass built in something overcome with awe i from behind and that was it that for that part 28th of december God forgive us. For days we have studied this dead, silent realm and its entombed abominations. Now the horrors have come for my own dear Mary. Crow found her unconscious in the star chamber, her notes scattered around her. He carried her back to our supply room and laid her down in one of the cells. When Bradshaw learned what had happened, she was evasive about Mary's work down there. As I cleaned my wife's face, she spoke to me in a fever, sounding distressed and confused. I have resolved to keep a vigil over her. I pray her fever abates so we can escape this cursed place. So there is a giant... Great, a great carcass built somewhere? Okay, now it is getting into... We, we don't necessarily need to have old gods or any weird Cthulhu or space or... Uh, other shit to have like a Lovecraftian monster story, but it sounds like there might be one. Yeah, you're getting it. Deeper in. We're gonna get some of the fucking more. Oh, I found one of the shit. dead explorers stuff. from the 40s. Nice. He's a withered skeleton. Oh, I found a letter. Yeah, there was a group in the 70s too, it looked like. What's that? Or at least someone who died, a doctor without borders. Oh, the missing aid workers, it's probably. Oh no, okay. that wouldn't make sense because it's we're getting literal, something. Uh, eldritch shit <laughs> blowing a hole through the rock face. Oh, we found a you're gateway finding it. to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated oh, from fuck. beneath, casting its eldritch light over all, us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable, but I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and the elevator to descend into the shaft. Oops. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world below above. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're going this... to find fucking Cthulhu shit. <laughs> Part of me wonders if this is a a sequel to um, literally an actual just Call of Cthulhu like mini campaign that the devs played, and they're like, "All right, for our next horror game, let's just make a sequel to that." Fucking maybe. <laughs> that would make a lot of sense. Uh, honestly. I have a torch. I have a torch. Oh, there's a fucking bone pile down here, man. 
Yep. Uh, spooky green light. Oh, green no. haze you, you is found occurring. Eldritch portal, man. Saliva. We have collected and bottled the black saliva present on the maw of the creature extracted from the cocoon. I and others who smelt the substance have experienced heart palpitations and a heightened sense of fear. Some have reported odd visual effects, such as a change of co to colors. Nice. We have attempted to secure additional samples of the saliva from the site where M was attacked. The smell was so overpowering that respirators were used to collect the samples. We recommend the use of masks at all times when handling samples to avoid becoming affected. Sensation similar to experience with mushrooms? Silosobin? Sibin? Maybe. Set some charges? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. So, uh... You can see the trip wires, though. This is also where the... Things can tell the difference? The hallucinogen gas came, came from... In, uh... From that first game. <laughs> more likely to catch him out. Smaller spread... But Sorry, you were saying? Head. What do you think? Uh... Okay. Let's go for maximum coverage. Wire up the middle of the corridor. You, you, so, uh, good? I'm setting a corridor with a bunch of explosives. I went with the wire up the middle of the corridor okay. option, so you should be able to see the wires okay. come running through. The other option was to hide uh, uh -oh. lines along the sides <laughs> so that you wouldn't be able to see them. <laughs> I am being very slowly chased. What is it? I see it coming. Should have given her a second warning. I don't know what to do about it. I'm just gonna keep waiting. Fuck, man! I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking uh, about this. Yeah. What's left to say? You know, Stay away. Horn was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. Is it Pazuzu? It was the wrong call. Or is it something else? What the fuck? Why is it that no one ever tells it straight? Everyone just makes a bullshit to get by. Pazuzu. First place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shoot Need a Pazuzu counter for this head. fucking thing. Sure That's a lot of fire, buddy. Mess with yours, man. These must be we'll dusty up, bones. Man. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. <laughs> oh. Oh, who? What? Oris. What the fuck? Are you serious? Aren't you dead? <laughs> Been three weeks. Wait, Maurice is down there? She's alive? It's armed. They're saving us from mating. Hopefully. I mean, not hopefully. God, I meant like... <laughs> just... Oh, you know what I meant. <laughs> That's maybe why they're alive. Okay. But it's not good. Like a line out. Yeah, no. Man, maybe we can give the brain. <laughs> the brain. <laughs> they, they didn't just eat you. Yeah. Oh, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the squeaky well, times. I, I squeaky hope. plan. <laughs> I hope that's not what the Pazuzus are doing. Maybe they're just keeping you down there like a fridge to eat you later. Looks to me like you just snagged up. Hopefully, that's the hopefully, even though that's yeah. not good either. Well, don't feel much like it's better than the Pazuzu rape gang. <laughs> oh, it's fucking dark, you psycho. Oh, what the? Okay, I've discovered the secret of where Pazuzus come from. I think. Oh, unless I'm hallucinating or something. 